Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have a video showing you all of my West End programs and souvenir brochures. Uh, now it's been a while since I've actually been to the West End so I think these are all from like 20 from 2008, 2009 and 2010 when I, I went um, during those times and I think I've seen we count one, two, three, four, five, six shows on the West End. So I have six brochures to show you. Uh, I was going to show you the West End ones and my um, Broadway ones, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I think it's going to be too long of a video. So I think I'm going to show my West End ones in one video and then I'll show you my Broadway ones in another video. So anyway, let's get started and I'll show you the first one that I saw on the West End and that is going to be Les Mis. And I saw that in ooh, August 2008. Les Mis, I got a little sticker on the time it was in 2008. So I saw this in August 2008 and went on a London trip with my friend Natasha. It's the first time we'd ever been. We booked to see two shows. It was this one and also Wicked. I really enjoyed Les Mis. My friend hated it. She absolutely hated it. And she's refused to ever go and see it since. Um, but I think she just had a bad experience. We were in a rush to get there. It was sweltering hot that day. There was no air con on in the theatre. And it, yeah, it was just really hot. And I think that maybe made her not enjoy it so much. But I absolutely loved it. I think it was, was it the first time I'd seen Les Mis. I'm not sure if it was the first time I've had seen it in Manchester, not quite sure, um, but it was absolutely amazing. So I got the souvenir brochure and I also got the programme, so this was the programme, obviously it was on at the Queen's Theatre and I can't quite remember who was in it, so I'm just going to have a look and let you know who was in it. So when I went to see it, Jean Valjean was played by Drew Sarich, I think that's how you say his second name. Um, so I remember him being really, really good. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. What else has he been in? No, I've not seen anything else that he'd been in, but he was really, really good. So I'll just show you his picture. So there we go. So he played Jean Valjean. <laughs> So the main cast for uh, the show back in 2008 was Drew Sarich for Jean Valjean, Earl Carpenter as Javert, Gavin James as the Bishop of Dean, Dean uh, Richard Woodford as the factory foreman, Alison Brown as Fontaine, Tenardier was Jimmy Johnston, Madame Tenardier was Jackie Mark. Eponine was Nancy Sullivan, Cassette was Leanne Dobinson, Marius was John Robbins. Eponine was played by Nancy Sullivan. So that's Alison Brown that played Fontaine. Earl Carpenter that played Javert. Jimmy Johnson that played Tenardier. Jackie Marks that played Madame Tenardier. John Robbins that played Marius. Nancy Sullivan that played Eponine and Leanne Dobinson that plays Corset. So that's the main cast. So I'll show you a bit of the programme. It shows a bit about the Queen's Theatre and that is the layout of the theatre there. Some adverts in it. got Question Time with Led Dennis and Mel I can't say a second name but it's a Mel from Mel and Sue Question Time with those so um, it's like what would you do if you ruled the world I'm not sure why I'm not sure why that's in, in there to be honest but it is it's got a bit. this is the life of Victor Hugo your cast biographies, you've got your cast list and your musical numbers 
I'm not going to go through musical numbers. I think everyone knows the musical numbers in Les Mis. He says the production is approximately three hours in length in length and includes a 15 minute interval. It's got a synopsis of the acts there, that one or two. Some adverts for other shows, so it's advertising Oliver at um, the first theatre Royal Jury Lane. And also here it says the lame merchandise is available by mail order. So you could fill in this little order form and it will get mailed out to you. So let's see, what was the merchandise that you could order by mail order? You could get t-shirts, baseball cap, large latte mug, coffee mug, small poster, Victor Hugo poster, keychain, lapel pin, pen, piano, vocal score, DVD of the concert, original London cast recording, 10th anniversary concert recording, uh, a symphonic recording, souvenir brochure, and that's all the things that you could get for mail order. And there's an advert there for Phantom of the Opera at Her Majesty's Theatre. And then there is an advert here for Les Miserables Miss Kids Club. It includes a backstage tour and a chance to meet a cast member. And that is basically your programme and on the back shows you the recordings that you can buy for it. So yeah, that is my uh, August, was it August 2000? Yeah, August 2008 programme. And obviously I got the brochure. I have actually been to see Les Mis again uh, in the West End and I can't find my programme anywhere. I definitely bought one because there's a picture of us holding it and I can't find it. So if I can find it later on, I'll put it at the end of, of this video. I think we went, we went for my husband's 30th birthday. Um, so we must have gone to see it. It must have been in 2015. We definitely didn't go in 2016 because we got married in 2016. So it must have been December 2015 that we went, I think. Yeah, it must have been. But yeah, I can't find the programme anywhere. But anyway, this is the souvenir brochure. I just got lots of really lovely pictures from the cat of the cast in it. A bit about Victor Hugo in there. Got the synopsis of the story there, so it's got that one, that two, and a synopsis of the story. Jean Valjean, Javert, Eponine, Marius, and also Thenardier there as well. There's a bit about the first opening night on there and the picture it is of the wedding of Cosette and Marius. So on this one it has um, the Lamers past, present and international. So first thing here it tells you the original London cast, people in the original London cast, 
then it's got people in the 21st anniversary company and then it's got a list of all the countries that it's uh, played in so it says productions have played in 38 countries and then these are the countries that it says it's been played in so england united states america japan israel hungary australia iceland norway austria canada poland sweden sweden holland denmark new zealand france the czech republic spain northern ireland scotland wales bermuda malta philippines mauritius singapore germany hong kong korea south africa belgium finland argentina brazil estonia china and mexico so yeah a lot of countries have seen les mis and then this is the, obviously the end the scene where he is where he dies and he goes off we're back with fontaine and eponine and then the back page folds up like that and you see all the cast in there i think are these pictures from different yeah i think these pictures are from different um casts around the world so they've all got numbers on these pictures and then they correspond to numbers on this little key here which tells you which country they're from so number one on here is from brazil number two is from australia number three is from norway so yeah these are different casts from around the world which is really nice to see so that is my name is brochure and program from 2 august 2008 and um, the next one i have is wicked now i thought i had a little program that went with this can't find it anywhere i think i definitely bought one i bought this i bought a mug i bought a hoodie i bought quite a few things when i went to see wicked because i absolutely loved it it was the very first time i've seen wicked back in 2008 I think I've actually only seen it once before, which is surprising because it's actually one of my favourite musicals. I think a couple of times when it's been in Manchester, I've not had the money to see it, um, which has been annoying because, yeah, I really would love to see Wicked again. I've definitely seen it once in Manchester anyway. Um, so, yeah, this was in August 2008. So, here we have the cast list and the musical numbers in here so back in august 2008 glinda was played by diane pilkington um alphabet was played by alexa academy i'm not very good at names um nessa rose was played by caroline keith bock was played by jeremy Laggett, Madame Morrible was played by Harriet Thorpe, Dr. Dillamond was played by Andy Mace, Fierro was played by Oliver Tomset, Wizard of Oz was played by Desmond Barrett, Chistery it was played by Matthew Bolton, uh, Alpha's dad was played by Andy Mace and Mother by Rachel Muldoon and the midwife was played by Aline Donahue. So that is the main cast. And there's a little thing in here saying that Ella Ella Componi was in the ensemble that night. She mustn't have been in the list on here, so she's been put on here. I'll show you this brochure now so there's the front there's your first page on this page you've got some adverts then you've got a, a picture of Alphaba next page you've got an advert for Billy Elliot and that was on at the Victoria Palace Theatre and then you've got a lovely picture of um, Glenda You've got an advert for The Wizard of Oz, which was on at the South Bank Centre. 
the Royal, Royal Festival Hall. I don't know, but there we go. The Wizard of Oz Ours. And then you've got, is that Fiera? Not sure. And you've got your creative team. And then you've got your cast list there. And then you've got your musical number there. You've got a picture of Alpha and Linda. And then you've got your cast biographies here. So there you go, you've got um I'll give you a bit closer for these so you can see better. Now I'm really sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but Alexa Cadeen? Not sure, but she was playing Alphaba. And you have Diane Pilkington as uh Glinda, Oliver Tomset as Fierro, Harriet Thorpe as Madame Marble. Desmond Barrett as the Wizard of Oz, Caroline Keefe as Nessa, Jeremy Laggett as Bok, Andy Mace as Dr. Dillamond and Elphaba's father. And then you've got the rest of the cast here and there. Then you've got an advert here for hairspray. And that was at the Shaftesbury Theatre. Picture there. And got the produce about the producers there, and then you've got a picture of Linda there. With a nice cast picture. There you've got a picture of Madame Marble and the Wizard of Oz. And there's a nice cast picture there. And that is the back. So that is the Sydney brochure from Wicked from August 2008. So then my next trip to London was in 2009 and then I went to see Hairspray. So it looks like I didn't get the programme just the souvenir brochure for Hairspray. Yeah. Um, Michael Ball was in this. Uh, he was really really good. And this was on at the Shaftesbury Theatre. And when I went to see this, I did buy a bit of merch from there as well. Bought a hoodie, it was yellow with um, hairspray written on it like this. It was really pretty. I think it must have got ruined because I can't find it anywhere. I also bought a mug when I went there. Um, I'm not sure what else I bought. I bought this. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was a really good show. I'll just tell you what the cast was in this show. So when I actually went to see this show, there was actually a few understudies on. Um, there's a little leaflet that was put into here, to tell you the understudies. So Tracy was actually an understudy. Um, it was played by Charlotte Ribby. Um, the usual Tracy was uh, Leanne Jones. So we had the understudy who's Charlotte Ribby. And I remember being amazing, um, really, really good. Wouldn't have known that like, she was an understudy if I hadn't seen this in here. Um, also, Corny Collins was also an understudy. He was played by Steve Hutchinson. And usually Corny Collins was played by Paul Manuel. Uh, and then we had one other understudy. Um, the female authority figure was played by Emma Dodd. And she's usually played by Wendy Somerville. So those are the understudies. So I'll show you, I'll tell you who the cast usually is in this performance. Usually we have we had Michael Ball as Edna, um, Nigel Planner as Wilbur, 
Leanne Jones is usually traceable. Like I said, we have the understudy. Ben James Ellis played Link. Verity Rushworth played Penny. Adrian Hansel was Seaweed. Raquel Jones was Nez. Paul Manuel was Corny Collins, but like I said, we had the understudy. Sandra Marvin was um, Motormouth Maybell. Zoe Rainey was Amber. And Liz Robertson, it was Velma. So I'll just show you the program now. So this is the front, first page here. We've got a bit about the Shaftesbury Theatre. We've got a big, um, we've got some cast photos there, the production photos. there and then you have your cast list so I'll give you a close-up of this okay so here's your cast list you had Michael born as Edna Nigel Planner as Wilbur Leon Jones as Tracy Benjamin Ellis as Link, uh, Link. Verity Rushworth as Penny. Then between the cast, you've got another um, more cast pictures. Then you've got then you've got the rest of the cast list. So, Dermot Canavan as the male authority figure, Adrian Hansel as Seaweed, Paul Manuel as Corny Collins, Sandra Marvin as Motormouth Maybell. Zoe Rainey as Amber. Wendy Somerville as the female authority figure. Pass pictures. Liz Robertson as Velma. That's what the page looks like. And you've got an advert for Sister Act. And you've got the rest of the cast. Keisha Atwell as Pearl. James Bennett as IQ. Charlotte Douglas as Peaches. Tim Freighter as Gilbert. Catherine Greeny as Luan, Jenny Hicks as Brenda, Nadine Higgins as Cindy, Stevie Hutchinson as Fender, Carrie Mack as Sh Shelley, Tiana. There's Lorraine, I can't, can't pronounce the second name. Michael Peters as Fad. Curtis Lee Scott as Dwayne. Michael Steeden as Sketch. Michael Vincent as Brad. And Zara Warren as Tammy. And then you've got Adam Price playing the walking cover. 
Edna, Wilbur and a male authority figure. Charlotte Ribby as the walking cover for Tracy. Curtis Angus as Swing. Catherine Castle as Swing and understudy for Dynamite and Inez as Swing and Dance Captain. And that is that is the whole cast and then you've got some adverts here as well. And after your cast list you've got some more photos. You've got an advert for, advert for Michael Ball's album that was out. And you've got like your cast list and your acts and your orchestra and production team lists. Creative team, advert for Billy Elliot, advert for Dirty Dancing, advert for High School Musical 2, Advert for Greece and more on your creative team. More cast pictures. You've got an advert for Jersey Boys and then you've got all the hairspray merch, hairspray merch that you can buy. So you can get t-shirts, I think I had this black, I had this black hairspray t-shirt as well, I got that. It doesn't, oh yeah, and that's the hoodie that I got, that yellow hoodie there. I got that hoodie and the black t-shirt and I got, and I got that mug as well, the latte mug. Yeah, that's what I bought, but you could have got umbrella, I wish I got that, that's really nice, and the bag. So yeah, they had some nice merch. And then there's a bit about the Theatre of Comedy Company. And then a bit about the Shaftesbury Theatre. It's got like the layout of the theatre and stuff there. And that is that. And that's quite a nice programme actually. It's very thick compared to some of the others. Yeah, really nice program. So that was from June 2009. So then in 2010 I went back to London and we actually went and saw three shows while we were there. We saw Legally Blonde, Love Never Dies and Sister Act. Um, so Sister Act, I got the souvenir brochure and it was actually when Whoopi Goldberg was in it as well as Superior and let me say when Whoopi came on stage everyone went crazy, <laughs> absolutely crazy. Um, she couldn't even start her, her speaking because everyone was going so mad she was, she was telling people to quiet so she could actually start performing her role. Uh, but yeah, she was really, really good in that. Actually, she was very, very good. I think she was only supposed to be doing it for a few weeks. It was about a month. Then she ended up missing some of her um, some of her performances because she had to go back home for a family emergency. Um, but I think she did come back later in the year to do some more. Um, but yeah, she was really good in it. So this was on. What theatre was this on actually? So it's on at the London Palladium, that's where it was on at, Sister Act, it's on at the London Palladium. Um, like I said, we went in August 2010. So, yeah. Here is the inside of it, you see it's got Whoopi Goldberg there. They're saying welcome to our show and a bit about the show.
cat photos. More cat photos. I have to say, I really enjoy Sister Act. I think it's just really, really good musical. But the last version I saw of it was a bit different. I think they changed some of the songs around. And I didn't enjoy it as much. It was Alessandra Burke playing um, Dolores. And it was the tour. Um, so I'm going to see the new tour this year in June. So I'm hoping it's uh, better than the last one I saw. But the one that I saw on the West End was absolutely amazing. And I think it was the first time I saw it when I saw it on the West End. So yeah, there's lots of cast pictures in this. More cast pictures. Little articles about how Whoopi got the habit. And then here you've got, you've got your musical numbers and your cast list. So let's see who was in this when I saw it. So Mother Superior was obviously Whoopi Goldberg. Dolores was by Patina Miller. She was amazing in it, Patina Miller. I remember her being really, really good. Shank was played by Simon Webb from Blue. He was really good in it, actually. Um, Monsignor Howard was played by Ian Lavender. Eddie was played by Aiko Mitchell. Sister Mary Roberts was played by Katie Rowley Jones. Bones was played by Nicholas Colicos. De Niro was by Ivan, Ivan de Friatas. TJ by Thomas Goodridge. Sister Mary Patrick by Claire Greenway. Sister Mary Lazarus by Jacqueline Clark. There's an alternate Mother Superior for when Whoopi wasn't doing the shows. I think she wasn't doing the matinees. She was doing a couple of shows. Wasn't doing a couple of shows, and that was Jacqueline Clark um, as the alternate. So that was the main cast, and then you got the understudies. So the understudy for Valores was Landy Osh Oshnawo and Rachel John. Mother Superior was Helen Walsh and Amanda Minehan. Shank was. I'm not going to go through all of them, but those were the main ones. An interview with Alan Menken. So obviously he's got a lot of Disney pictures here because he wrote a lot of the things for all the for a lot of Disney sh um, films. More cast pictures. The article. Look at pictures. Some cast pictures from what looks like the rehearsals. So you got Simon Webb there. you've got your merchandise which is available at that show and I don't think I got much I think the only thing I bought from that show was the mug and I might have bought the album actually I think I have the album so maybe that's what I bought but yeah I didn't buy much I think I just bought the mug and the album from that show so 
and then the cast picture and then you actually got a poster yeah, you actually got a poster of um, Whoopi Goldberg uh, this is London Smash It Musical Back in the Habit at the Palladium so I've kept that in there and it's taken out and then there's the back page and that was that one so yeah that was sister act back in 2010 august 2010 uh, so that was one musical we saw then and then we also went to the savoy theater and saw legally blonde um with sheridan smith as l and she was so good really enjoyed her performance as l thought she was really really good in this um legally blonde is also one of my favorite musicals i think wicked and legally blonde and lame is some of my favorite musicals um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. So on the front page, it's a welcome message from the Savoy Theatre. Also, it shows you the layout of the theatre at the bottom here. So that you can buy your theatre tickets here from ATG. bit of information here about the Savoy Theatre and then you've got that page about the show a bit about um, Legally Blonde and then there's a picture of a picture of Sheridan as Elle with a little dog We've got some facts about Harvard University there. Got some cast photos. More cast photos. And then you've got your cast list and musical numbers. So I'll just tell you who was playing the main characters in this performance. So Elle Woods was obviously Sheridan Smith. Then Warner was Richard, Richard Fleishman, who I remember is um, in Ghost. He was amazing in Ghost, but he was also really good in this. But obviously he got to show off more of his skills in Ghost. Um, Emmett Forrest was Alex Gourmand. Professor Callahan was Peter Davison. Paulette was Jill Halfpenny. So Brooke was played by Aoife Mulholland. Vivian was played by Caroline Keefe. Uh, Serena was played by Susan McFadden. Margot was played by Amy Lennox. Pillar was played by Ibn, Ibn Bo Jack. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that wrong. Um, I'll just tell you about the main characters. So Enid was played by Susie McAdam. Uh, the dad was played by Andy Ma Mace. Erin was played by Matthew McKenna. Courtney by Sorel Marsh. Uh, Carlos by Sergo Prifitis. Basically, that's the main cast. I'm not going to go through all of them. So that's the main cast that was in it. Um, and then if you've got the cast of biography. So I'll show you the pictures of everyone, just in case you recognise anyone, because I often don't recognise them by the names. When I see the pictures, I recognise them more. So obviously you've got Sheridan Smith as Elle, Richard Fleishman as Warner, Alex Gormond as Emmett. Peter Davison as Professor Callahan. Aoife Holland as Brooke. Jill Halfpenny as Paulette. Caroline Keith as Vivian. Let's quickly show you the rest of the cast pictures. I'm not going to go through everyone. There you go, so that's the rest of the cast. And you've got another picture here, a 
graduation. Some more cast pictures. Production credits and information. And that's everything that so there wasn't a lot in that um brochure but yeah i really really love this show um and i've seen it many many times not on the west end but um at touring shows so yeah definitely love this musical and did get some merch when i went to see this i think i got a mug and i think that's it i think i just got a mug from this one but yeah really love that show and then also on that trip we went to see love never dies and for some reason on that trip i decided to get a program and this i think maybe this didn't have the cast list in it and that's why where the other ones had cast lists i'm just gonna have a quick flip through it yeah there's no cast list in this whatsoever this is basically just pictures of the show there's nothing else in this one so that is why i got this one so i had a cast list so like i said this was we saw this in august 2010 uh this was on at the delphi theater so on the first page of the program it shows you the layout of the theater So you've got your cast list here. So I'll just tell you who played the main characters in this. I'll show you a close up so you can see. So playing the Phantom was Ramin Karimlu. Karimlu. I'm really terrible at saying his name, but I'm pretty sure he also played the Phantom in Phantom of the Opera as well. Um, so he played the Phantom in this. And then, then Cerebra Boges played Christine Daae. Joseph Mil Milson played Raoul. Liz Robertson played Madame Jerry. Summer Strallen played Meg Jerry. Neve Perry played Fleck. Adam Pierce played Squelch. I'm not sure if that's right. And Jammy Reed Correll played Gangley. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really terrible at pronouncing the names, but there we go. And then you've got the rest of the cast on here, but they're the main cast. And you've got a bit about Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jeremy Hunt, who's the producer and composer, Ben Elton, who wrote the book, and Glenn Slater, who did the lyrics and book. You've got all the directors and producers, all the other people involved. And you've got an advert for the Wizard of Oz, for the London Palladium. A bit about the Adelphi Theatre. Advert for Phantom of the Opera. just some more adverts and things so that was basically the program so i just got that for the cast list and then this is the souvenir brochure and this is basically just a lot of pictures i have to say the really nice pictures though i do like it it's a very nice look the way they've done it it's got like this vellum piece i guess over it has the gold music notes on that looks really nice Ready to done that. Yeah, I do think I do think this is really nice. I do like the imagery in this. I think it's very, very pretty. I 
yeah i have to say i did quite enjoy love never dies obviously it's not one of my favorite musicals i didn't think the song stood out that much although i do think i actually bought the soundtrack when i was there i did actually buy the soundtrack and i think i bought a mug because i buy mugs from everything um but yeah i haven't really listened to the soundtrack much since i bought it um but i did quite enjoy the story right a lot of people don't like it but um yeah i quite enjoyed it i thought it was quite good I think I also have the DVD of, of the production that they filmed. Again, you've got another vellum page. There we go. Yeah, I really, really liked it. It's sort of based around the carnival, wasn't it? And I quite enjoyed the aesthetic of that. Yeah, really nice um, souvenir brochure. Okay, so that is the end of this little video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all my West End um, brochures and programs. I'm really, really hoping to go to the West End this year and see a couple of shows, and also maybe next year. Um, if I can, maybe twice this year, we'll see. I really want to see Frozen. There's so many good things on at the West End at the minute. I want to see Frozen. I would love to see Cinderella. I'd like to see Dear Evan Hansen. I'd love to see The Drifters Girl. I'd like to see the Tina Turner musical. The list just goes on. I'd love to see Anne Juliet again. I've not seen that since it's been in Manchester. So there's a lot that I really would love to see. So fingers crossed I get to go at least once this year. So yeah, if you do like these sort of videos where I show you my programs, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be showing you all the programs that I have. I have been going to the theatre uh, for about at least 10 years now. I have 10 years worth of programs. Um, so I'm going to do videos per year and show you all the programs I've got each year. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of videos to film for you on programs. So please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified each time one of those videos goes up. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Like I said, if you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.